So when I'm doing the presentation, if everyone can mute themselves, and if you have a question, please feel free to unmute yourself at any time. So let's get started. We're gonna make some hummus. <clears throat> so we're gonna go over our ingredient list. So we have chickpeas, I have a lemon, and I have tahini, but there's been a lot of people saying that you can use peanut butter as a substitution. So if you do not have tahini, you can use peanut butter. <clears throat> and I have some parsley. Good job, you found your tahini, good job. And this is only for a garnish. So if you don't have parsley, it's not a big deal. It's only for looks, really. Good job, Nisa. And I have olive oil. And that's about it. So for our equipment that we need, we need to have a strainer. If you're using a strainer to strain your <clears throat> chickpeas. A table, a tablespoon and a can opener and a knife to cut your lemon in half. So what I like to do is well, we are gonna drain our chickpeas, but with the liquid, what's really good to do is to keep the liquid because a lot of people like just put it down the drain. But what we want to do is if our hummus is too thick, we add a tablespoon of the liquid from the chickpeas. You can use water, but the flavor from the, this will work better. So I'm gonna lower my camera. So please remember, if you have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself and ask. Now, how I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna open my can of chickpeas. This is gonna be my first step. Be very careful when you're doing this because this lid can get very sharp, this metal right here. So when you're taking this out, be very careful not to cut yourself with that. And I'm gonna strain my liquid into a bowl. That way I can keep my liquid from my chickpeas. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna run to my sink and I am going to rinse my chickpeas. So we want to rinse them. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Oh, let's see. Natalia is here. Let's let her join. So I rinsed mine with some water. And now this is going to be what my first step is. I'm going to go ahead and put my chickpeas right into my blender or my food processor. So depending on what you have, Hi. Hi, Natalia. It's so good to see you. Hi. So I'll get you caught up. What we did is you need your chickpeas, your tahini, your lemon, your olive oil, and a tablespoon and a knife and a can opener. So what we did so far is we opened up our can of chickpeas and we drained the liquid and we kept our liquid in a bowl. So I put my liquid in a bowl and I'm going to keep it. And then after that, Natalia, we rinse them with some water, our chickpeas. 
Oh, okay. So your first step is to open your can and drain it and then rinse your chickpeas. I did that. Are you, awesome, okay, well, you're awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my chickpeas right into my blender. If you're using a blender or you can use a food processor. I'm gonna put that aside. So make sure everyone's at that step. Good job. How's it coming, Nisa? Good? You're on mute, Nisa. I can't hear you. I have to get mom. I need help. Okay, you can go get the your mom. I can't do my dough. The what? The blender? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can put everything in the blender and then wait for your mom to blend it. Okay. Okay. So okay. you go ahead and you can open your chickpeas and drain them. Okay. So now we're going to take our lemon. I'm going to go ahead and put my camera down and I'm going to cut my lemon in half. Be very careful. We're just going to cut right in half. Can everyone see me? Awesome. There we go. Good job, Michael. Good job, Alyssa. Yeah, do you have garlic? Good job, yeah. We do. Awesome, we're gonna do that after. You got your lemon, ooh. That's not look really cool. good. It does. It's, I love the smell of lemon. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our lemon and we're going to squeeze it into our blender. So we're going to juice our lemon. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to give it a good squeeze right into my blender. So I'm going to squeeze all of the juice out with my hand. Woo. I dropped it too. Get all of the juice out. Yeah. It's kind of fun doing this. And your, it's going to make your hands smell really good. Okay, I'm going to put that over here. And put here, this one, you can actually put in a Ziploc baggie and put it in the fridge and save it. So if you want to make another batch, you can make another batch later. So the next step is taking our garlic. So we need a clove of garlic. I have one clove here. And you want to take all of the skin off, so the peeling. So it's kind of like an onion. You want to peel it down until it's all of the skin is off it. And a little trick, I'm gonna show you a little trick. If everyone has a spoon, you can take a spoon, see if you guys can see here, okay. Yep, and you're gonna put your spoon over the top of it and you're gonna push down. And what this does is it gives it a good crush. And it makes it easy for you to take the skin off. So the skin comes off much easier, just like that. That way you don't have to sit there and pick it and peel it. And we want to crush this clove a little bit. So I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to push it up. We don't have to cut it. We just want to you know, crush it up a little bit. And depending on how much garlic you like, is if you want, if you like it really garlicky, you can always use two. Two cloves. So I cut, it's just a little squish up in different pieces. And I'm going to add that right to my blender. I'm going to go ahead and mute you, Nisa, okay?
There we go. So if anyone had any questions? No. Okay. So I'm just crushing up this last piece of clove here. Add that right to my blender or your food processor, whichever one you're using. So my computer is gonna smell nice and garlicky when I'm done. I love the smell of garlic. And so now we wanna get two tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm using olive oil and I'm gonna put that right in my blender or food processor. And the last step for this is the tahini. So I need two tablespoons of tahini. And what I'm gonna do is stir it up a little bit because it looks separated. If you kind of look at it, you wanna make, give it a good stir. Make sure it's well mixed. And we're gonna use two, ta two tablespoons. And we're gonna put this right in our blender. That looks good. So I have one. Two tablespoons. Two and two. And I'm going to put my lid back on. I'm going to make sure everyone's doing all right. So now, the reason why I had you save your liquid from the chickpeas is we're going to blend this now and if it is super thick <clears throat> so this all depends on the blender that you're using so if you have a high powered one it's going to be more smooth if you're had a regular blender it might be a little thicker do you have a question nisa go ahead and unmute yourself Just... <laughs> I'm not got everything ready. You're not what? I'm not got everything ready yet. I can't hear you. Can you say that one more time? Your internet says it's low, so it's not coming in. Okay, now try again. Um, not got everything ready yet. Okay, You haven't gotten any water? That's a really hard So have you drained your chickpeas? I did. Really hard yeah. Okay. So we put our chickpeas in, put them in the blender. You want to put everything in the blender, Nisa. So you want to put your chickpeas in the blender. You want to put your garlic in the blender, your lemon juice in the blender. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on and I'm going to blend this. So this is what I was saying before was is if you, if it's too thick and it's like not coming like the, texture that you want for the hummus, what you can do is add a tablespoon of the liquid from the chickpeas at a time. You don't wanna to add too much liquid. You wanna keep the liquid low. It all depends on how you like the texture of your hummus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on medium until it's creamy and smooth. So I'm gonna make sure everyone's at the same spot. Yes, and if you're using peanut butter, you'd wanna just use two tablespoons of peanut butter instead of the tahini. And I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself while I'm using my blender. So you guys don't have to listen to that.
And what you want to do is after you see how like when I mixed mine up, it didn't really get it all. So I want to go in there and get a spoon or a spatula and kind of put it back in the middle. Now I'm going to, again, I'm going to mute myself so that way it doesn't interrupt and you guys don't have And now this is where I'm going to add some more liquid to mine because it's really thick and it's not mixing up too well. So what I'm going to do is add a tablespoon of the liquid from the chickpeas. And I'm actually going to do two because mine's pretty thick. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of the juice. And if you did not keep the juice, you can just use water. That's totally okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mute so I can use my blood. So what I'm doing is I'm just mixing it up again, taking it out and mixing it around in here. I want a nice smooth texture. It's getting there. You just have to add, I would say one to two tablespoons of liquid. Go ahead and I'm going to do it one more time just so I know it's nice and smooth. I'm going to mute so you guys don't have to. Okay, now let's see how this is coming out. See, it looks all mixed together. Looks like Thomas. And this recipe really does call for a food processor. <clears throat> it, they say that it breaks it up a little better than a blender, but the blender seems to be working good. So if you guys can see, and what we could do if you want it to be more creamy, is you want to just keep adding a little liquid and blending it for a little bit longer. So mine's pretty creamy. Oh, look at that. Good job, Natalia. Great. Oh, look at that, Michael. That looks amazing. Is that too much as far as creaminess? No, it, that looks great. Because you you can definitely tell you used a fruit processor. Yes. See, has, do you see the difference between mine and Karen's? How mine's a little more chunky and hers is very clean and like smooth? It's because I used a blender. And even though mine's a high powered blender, the food processor works different. I had to put a lot of the chickpea liquid in though. Yes, so you add a lot more liquid. Yeah, so if you, yes. it's just about adding the, the liquid. If you want it to be creamy, you add more of the liquid. So 
I'm going to add more just to see how my blender will make it. And then you, what you can do is enjoy your carrots or I like to have uh, celery with my hummus. I love celery. So I'm going to mute myself real quick so that way. Anyone have any questions? No. Which one? So, Nina, you? yes, you want to use one clove of garlic. With this? Nope, the other. This? Yes. Uh, one, yep, one, you want to get one piece out, one clove. So now what you want to do is exactly what Michael and Karen are doing. You want to spoon it out into a bowl. No. And I always put mine into a, a plastic container. That way, I, if I have a lot of extra over it, I can put the lid on it and put it in the fridge and save it. Ooh, I can smell the garlic in mine. I love garlic. So who's going to have, what are you guys going to eat with your hummus? Great job, Nisa. You want to get one clove of garlic, okay? Okay. And the cool thing about hummus is I was looking at the grocery store yesterday is there's so many different kinds of hummus. So if you have like a favorite kind of vegetable, you could add it to this. You know, if you had like bell peppers, I've seen people have, instead of using a lemon, use a lime. It's all about how you exactly like it. So I'm just spooning all mine out so I can save it too. It smells really yummy. So this would be the time if you want to add salt and pepper to it, you, you could add a dash of salt and pepper. It's all about your preference. Nisa, you want to cut your lemon in half. So you want a half a lemon and you're going to squeeze the juice into the blender. <clears throat> Hannah, that looks great, guys. Thank Michael, you. I I like it. Looks so yummy. So, Nisa, do you have a question? You can unmute yourself, Nisa. Michael, do you have a question? Yeah. What's your question? The chickpea juice goes in the blender as well. Yeah, so we were gonna save that until at the end when we are mixing, and if it's too thick, you add liquid. Until it's the, to what your consistency you Ooh. like. Spicy. You think it's spicy? Yeah. <laughs> it's spicy. I guess, well, yeah. We had a big clove of garlic. <laughs> oh, I love garlic, Michael. But, but hey, yeah, everyone's different, right? Right. And just because you don't, yeah, you don't like it doesn't mean that it's not, a, that's a bad thing. There you go. Thank you. So I'm going to try it. Oh, we don't want to forget our parsley. So 
So if you have parsley, the only thing the parsley is really used for is a garnish. It's only used for decoration. So if you don't have it, that's okay. But we've been, I've been growing some curly uh, parsley at home. I have an arrow garden and that thing works really well to grow some herbs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a piece of parsley right here and serve it on up. And remember, just put the lemon juice in here. Yeah, you want to squeeze it out, Nisa. Squeeze that lemon juice right out into there. Awesome. And we want to put two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of tahini in that blender too. Where's the olive? Where's your, where's your spoon? So which one is the tablespoon? Yeah, and it's much better if you make sure when you're done after we do our class right now is if you clean your blender. It was much easier to clean when it's still fresh. So if you let it dry on, it takes a while for it to clean. So has anyone tried it? Mito Michael thinks his is spicy. Natalia, have you tried yours yet? I'm trying it right now. Hannah, is yours good? Yes. Awesome. It's good. Good. Mine's good too. What are you guys eating with yours? I just eat it by a spoon. Oh, you like it just by itself. Awesome. Carrots. Carrots. I'm using celery. Rachel, are you watching today? Are you just watching? Oh, Rachel, you're muted. We're watching today, but when 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 you guys are done, she's going to make what uh, what you guys made last week. Oh, right. awesome! <laughs> I can't wait. You should send us a picture when you're done with it, Rachel. You can email it. It ain't really quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, did do you have a question, Karen? Yes. Did you um, was it was sesame oil supposed to be in there, or was that just an option? Um, was it? An, I think it was optional. Okay. So, uh, olive oil. I did, was it sesame oil or olive oil? Well, no. Um, we did have olive oil, but I have some sesame oil, and I didn't know if we were to do that on top. Oh, what usually what they do is they put a, they carve a little they put a little hole like a little volcano, and you can drizzle some olive or some sesame oil on the top. If that's an extra, yeah, that's an extra kind of thing. And then what you could do is you can sprinkle it with salt and pepper. Mmm. Lisa, how's it coming along, Nisa? Thank you. Mm. How did you like yours, Lisa? Good. Was it good? I like it. Awesome. I think that I will like mine better when it's cold. Yeah. We got ours in some Tupperware. Yes, yeah, so um, I put mine in a Tupperware too, and I'm gonna let mine get cold. I think it would. I think it tastes good. I just think it would taste a little better if it was cold. Okay. Yeah, my sister will get some too. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's really fun to make it. Michael, it is a little spicy. Mine's a little spicy too. I can definitely it's taste that little tang to it. I can taste it. <clears throat> Looks like we lost Ed. That's okay. okay. How's it coming, Nisa?
The good? I don't eat it yet. Awesome. Let me know when you do, okay? Does anyone know what hummus stands for in the Arabic language? No. So what is the main ingredient of hummus? Beans. What kind? Chickpeas. That's right. That's exactly what it means. So hummus stands for chickpeas in the Arabic lang language. So that's how it's got its kind of its name a little bit. There's a cool little fun fact I <clears throat> picked out. Mm. So I had so much fun today. I'm gonna I hopefully I wanna wait for Nisa to give hers a try. Let's see how Nisa's come out. <clears throat> It's really good. Really good. Are you going to save it? Oh, yeah. you know what would be a good idea is you could share it's that really with your mom good. tonight. Yes. <laughs> and whoever bought the tahini, this is going to be a good way to save it and use it to make more hummus. And but the cool thing is, is the next time you don't always have to put garlic in it. You can put something different. So I saw a lot of different recipes where people were adding some curry, different spices, and it makes it taste different every single time. But it still has yeah. that nice, smooth texture. Where did you get that tahiti? I found mine at the co-op. But Karen and Michael found some at the Hannaford's. On the yeah, bottom hand was to get the stuff to make this. Yeah, she said it was very it was hidden. So it was by the pickles, it I think, hidden, on the yeah. bottom shelf. Yeah, we couldn't <laughs> find it. But it was really good. Yes, it is good. <clears throat> Ed made his with peanut butter as well. Even I need to wash my hands because my mom is allergic to peanut butter. Oh, yeah. So you don't want to share that with mom then? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Lisa, is yours done yet? Yes. How is it? Oh, uh, it, yeah. Ooh, I can't wait for you to try it. Yeah. Is it looking smooth? I think so. <laughs> Here you go, babe. So, Karen, was the sesame oil on there? No, you're you're right. It was a substitution. Okay. Thank but you. I have seen, yeah, I have seen that people sometimes make a little volcano in there and they pour a little bit in there and they if you're using it for a dip for bread and you know the oil and the hummus mixture is really good it looks like it could be combined with the greek yogurt if you didn't find tahini oh yeah that's what it's him pretty much i think anything that's like a thickener that wants to thicken it up okay it's like you know How is it, Nisa? You're muted. Good. Awesome. So you like it. I'm so glad. Well, I had so much fun with you all today. And I hope to see you all next week at Cooking Club. And Natalia, it was really good to see you come join us today. Yeah. We've missed you. Yeah, we missed you. Nice to have you back. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you all right. have a great day, and I hope you enjoy your hummus. We will. Thank you, Carmen. All right. Bye, Karen. Bye, Michael. Bye. 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 Bye, Natalia. Bye, Nisa. Bye, bye Rachel. And bye, Barbara. Bye. bye, Carmen. Bye. I'll see you guys next week. You too. Bye. 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 bye.